Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph. And today I want to talk about the fact that God wants to affirm you as a child of God. He wants to affirm you as a son, as a daughter in His kingdom. And I want to start with telling you that you are a child of God. God loves you. He has a plan and a purpose for you. And you are His child. He has by the tremendous price through Jesus, so that He can be restored back to you. You, through the blood of Jesus, have access to the Father, and He loves you very, very much. The Lord doesn't reject you. He doesn't oppose you. He doesn't put any barriers between you and Him. And He's saying to you, come to me. I love you. You're my child. Let me embrace you. Let's be close. And so the Lord is restoring you today he says you are my child you are adopted you are a part of his family you are not rejected uh, you belong in the family of God and so the Lord desires to affirm you and every single day when you pray when you spend that time with the Lord you can just say to the Lord Lord I'm ready for affirmation and every time the Lord will be faithful to with that still small voice affirm you to give you boldness to give you courage so that you can rise up and be that daughter to be that son of God in his kingdom when Jesus went to John the Baptist to be baptized by him to receive that priestly mantle that was on that priestly lineage through uh, Zachariah John the Baptist father and John the Baptist and that priestly mantle came on the life of Jesus then the Lord filled him up with the Holy Spirit. He opened up the heaven and then there out of heaven, the Lord spoke these words. He says, you are my son in you. I am well pleased. All right. And so the Lord is saying the same thing to you today. He says to you, you are my beloved daughter. You are my beloved son and I am well pleased with you. It is in our father's nature to want to affirm you. And so whenever you come to him, whenever you make a big decision in your life, he will say to you, do not worry, do not fear. I'm filling you up with my Holy Spirit and I affirming you that you are my child. I'm with you. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. As we grow in our walk with God, then the Lord will affirm us every step of the way. And so even when the Lord appoints you to walk in a position as a king or as a priest in his kingdom, he will affirm you. The Lord has called each one of us to have a kingly and a priestly function on our lives. In, in simple terms, a kingly function means you are going to bring the resources of heaven to this earth. A kingly function is a picture of someone that's in government, someone that's in business, someone that's a father of a family that supplies. And so the Jesus said, out of your innermost being will flow a river of living water. That river of living water is a picture of the supernatural supply of God. And He will supply in every one of your needs. And then of course, uh, the, the, the priestly function has to do with ministering to others. And priestly function could be to give someone a, a bread, to give them a glass of water, to pray for them, uh, to, to lead them to Jesus, to encourage them, to nurture them, to give them a blanket, to help them. Right? And so that is the priestly function. The priestly function is also towards God to do intercession, to pray, to spend time in His Word, to be with Him. And so the Lord has called each one of us to function as a king and as a priest. To bring his supply into this earth and to also bring that comfort, that love, uh, that pray uh, into this earth. And so Jesus said when they must pray, they must say, your kingdom come, your will be done as it is in heaven, so let it be on earth. Now in the Bible, there's this wonderful story about the transfiguration of Jesus. And when Jesus was being transfigured, he started to glow with the glory of God. A cloud came out of heaven and then out of the cloud came a voice and that was the voice of the Father. And he was saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. So he affirmed that Jesus is his son, that he loves him, that he's pleased with him. And then he said, he affirms he has now the authority of a king and then of course 
the moment the Lord affirmed Jesus in that kingly position, then all of the world recognized the kingly authority on Jesus. When Jesus went into Jerusalem, they wanted to crown him king. And even when Jesus stood in front of Pilate, he said to those uh, scribes and that Pharisees and to that Sadducees, this is Jesus from Nazareth, uh, the king of the Jews. Okay, so he recognized the kingly anointing. Even when Jesus was born, uh, Herod and all of those uh, wise men, they recognized the kingly anointing on, on, on the life of Jesus. But that was uh, um, recognized because the Father um, affirmed with his words who Jesus was. And so today the Lord is affirming you. You know, when, when the angel Gabriel spoke to Mary, he said, you will be um, a king. You will be uh, from the throne of your father, David. You will be called a son of God, a son of the most high God, actually. Um, so there were so many words of affirmation that Gabriel spoke about Jesus. And the same is what God will do to you. From that time when you were, were a baby, God already started to speak words about your purpose, about who you are, and He affirmed you as a child of God. Now, of course, as you go through your life, you're going to rank up from uh, a level of authority to level of authority, a level of maturity to level of maturity. Every time you rank up and you go to another level of maturity, there's a new test that you have to overcome, but there's also a new blessing, a new supply, a new revelation, a new authority and responsibility that the Lord released to you. And every time when you rank up, again, the Lord will come and He will affirm you. He'll say, you can do it. You're my child. I've called you to succeed even at this level of authority that I've given to you. So I want to read to you what happened with Jesus. It says here in the scripture in Luke chapter 2 verse 40 and also verse 52 it says, And the child grew and was strengthened in spirit, being filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. And then uh, 52, And Jesus kept increasing in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man okay so yes jesus grew up in his maturity and his wisdom and his stature and he had favor with man but he didn't only have favor with man he had favor with god and you know part of the favor that god gives to us is, is that he will affirm us he will encourage us to be who he called us to be let me pray for you father thank you that you affirm us today, that you say to us, you are my son, you are my daughter, I love you and I affirm you today. I released on you a crown of joy, I reach, or release on you a, a kingly crown so that you can function, so that you can be a guide for the glory and for the resources of heaven to be released onto this earth. Lord, you affirm us today as priests to function on this earth to bring the goodness and the kindness the compassion of God to this earth and to stand before you in intercession as priests holy washed clean by the blood of Jesus and Lord we are holy we are your children and Lord you affirm this today and so Lord thank you that many of the ones that are listening today Lord you speak over them hear him Lord you give it them a message you give them a, 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 a voice you give them a revelation a word a sword in their mouth to speak and to release and so lord we set ourselves as your children to bring heaven to earth and lord you affirm us in that even lord we give you honor and praise and lord when jesus sent his disciples out he says all authority in heaven and in earth was given to me and now i send you it means i give you that authority i give you that glory that power you know jesus said to them wait in jerusalem because you're going to receive power when you receive the holy spirit and so lord thank you that we receive today the power and the holy spirit lord we love you very very much we are your children and it's such a honor and a privilege for us to be on this earth and to fulfill the the great commission to bring the glory that's in heaven to this earth. Lord, we love you so very much. And Lord, I bless each one that's listening today. Lord, I bless them with healing, uh, with uh, a, a godly self-image that they will know that they are, va they are valuable. Lord, I, I bless them, Lord, uh, with infilling of the Holy Spirit, Lord, that the glory of God will rest upon them, that the favor of God and the favor of men will be upon them. 
in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you that you are here. We give you honor. Amen. God bless you.